Morning, geology kids. Um, some of you are probably having a little, well, some of you started, I know. Three of you actually got going on dip and strike a little bit yesterday, and that was good because then I could see who was having troubles. If you're waiting till the last minute, you're going to be in trouble. So, um, real quick, like, I'm going to just pull up a, a street somewhere here in Glendive that's easy to do. A dip and strike problem. I'm going to go over here by river, the river, and instead of doing a street, I'm actually going to take and do this pile of rocks right here. Okay. Um, this pile of rocks actually creates kind of a, uh, a bit of a slope. And see if I can get my mouse to do what it's supposed to do here. This whole thing is kind of an interesting slope, and it's pretty steep. But the main thing with dip and strike is you've got to orient it based on north. So now what I've done here is I've turned the map so that the red arrow right here is pointing north. So if I go over here, you can see I've got it pointing north now. All right. Um, so what I'm interested in is the strike of, uh, well, We'll go with this little bit of a rock body. I know that it's sloping this direction, right? But um, the strike of it is actually this way. I could probably do something a little easier than that. Let's go find something else. Mm, well, let's go over here by the ABC fields. There already been chewed fields. Okay, there's a road right here that goes down into the ABC fields, right? And some of you guys know that because you probably parked down there. So we're going to look at this road. The road is actually dipping that direction, but it's striking this direction. So if I go in here, and we'll just do a little snip. So we're going to snip out that picture. Tool. And we're going to go new. And I'm going to go ahead and snip all of this out, including the compass down there where I can see the direction that's north. Okay. So um, we know the road, like I said, is dipping this way as it comes off of the street. So that's the direction of dip. Now, your strike is always perpendicular to that, like this. So the dip and strike symbol is going to look like that for that road. And I don't know, it's not terribly steep, but we'll say it's it's got a dip of like uh, five degrees. So we're gonna put five right there. Now on a geologic map, that's what that would look like. Um, it's telling me that this is the strike and this is the dip, all right? Now, when you go to write that, we're going to base it off of north. So we're going to say north. And north, of course, is going to be right up here, right? This is north. This is south. This is east. And this is west. Now, the question is, I don't have a protractor here, but we know that uh, this is 0 and this is 90. 45 is going to be right in here, probably. So it's since it's not 45, well, we can say it's probably close to 30. So we're going to call it north 30. And it's moving to the east of north. So it's north 30 east. All right. Um, and then, of course, the dip is going to be 5 degrees. And that's going to be towards the north west. So that's how you would do that one. And that's how it should look in your notebook. So if I have a notebook and I see something like this, so if you're showing me something that looks like that right there, that is actually a north. 90, we'll call it uh, east, with a dip six degrees south. That's how that 
would look because it's basically flat, so it's dipping at 90 degrees. If I do something like this, so if you see this one right here, right? That, and I'll, I'll call it 10. So you see that? Okay. Now, how would I write that? Well, that is a north, and in this case, that this this part right here is moved to the west and it's moved quite a ways to the west maybe like 70 degrees or 60. we can call that north 60 west with a dip of 10 degrees to the southwest so that one's going to look like that okay so what we're showing there is that this part is west of north right you always want to base your dip and strike off of north. This one is 90 degrees north. Now, if I have one that looks like that right there, that means you've got a strike that runs perfectly north and south and a dip that runs almost perfectly west. So that one, and we can call that, we'll just call that a 12, right? That's like a 12. So we're going to call that uh, north, and we're going to put a 1E in there. So maybe it's striking just a little bit to the east. So it's like north 1 east. And it's got a dip of 12 degrees to the west. Okay. So that's how it kind of works. And you've got a picture of it in the real world right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I'm not going to save that. So now I'm going to go, let's just. Some of you are going out to Makoshika and doing some things out in Makoshika, which is great because it gets you out into the wilderness. Um, so if I look at these parts of the switchbacks, um, the switchbacks, of course, the gate to the switchbacks is right down here. And this is where it gets ridiculously steep. The switchbacks are really, really steep right here. So if I'm looking at that, um, the strike on this one is going to be like, well, I didn't get that very good. We're going to erase that because that's a terrible line. Oh, good. It did it for me. We're going to zoom in a little tighter. Well, I ain't going to let me zoom in. Let's let's go get out of here. Let's go to the pointer. Then it'll let me zoom in. Like I said, this is the ridiculous, and you notice I've got my north orientation still right. So I'm going to click on this. On that really steep part of the Makoshka Road, the strike is going to be right here. In other words, if you don't want that marble or yourself to roll down the hill, you got to get perpendicular to the dip. Then the dip is going to be like this direction. Right? Well, if north is up here right and south is down here you can see that that strike is probably greater than 45 degrees i'm you know guesstimation on that one maybe you've got like a 55 or a, something like that like 55 degrees to the east of north so it's going to be in 55E, and I don't know what the dip is. It's probably, might even be 12 degree, 10 degrees there. It's pretty steep. So anyway, that gives you a little bit of an idea of how that works. And that way, if you're looking at those symbols on a map, you kind of know what they mean. So go out and try a little bit. I suggest very strongly, if you're not sure, you send me some questions and, and say, I'm not sure what I'm doing, or whatever, and I can kind of walk you through it. 
make sure your symbols that you make show me the proper north or east of north or west of north orientation just like i showed you on the map if you provide me just three little flat symbols then you're telling me that every strike you looked at was a 90 degree strike well no that's a rare it's just like very few strikes are perfectly vertical with north and south either i mean the world's a dynamic place so that's what you're doing you're getting out and measuring it and this is just to start we're going to give you some real world problems here coming up so uh, if you have questions get after it today don't wait and send me what you're getting okay I might, I'll probably let you make revisions on your work up until it's due. But if you mess around and turn it at the last minute, I'm not letting you do revisions. So you've got you've got time. Get out there and do it. Okay.